Hello, I am Deepthi and I welcome you to the 10th episode of Talk Physics. Today we are going to talk about complex numbers. Don't be afraid of the name complex. They are a very interesting class of numbers. Now, if I ask you that square of a real number, is it going to be positive or negative? You would just say, of course, positive. For example, square of 16 is 256. Square of 4 is 16. Square of 2 is 4. Similarly, if you take negative numbers, square of minus 2 is how much? Yes, 4. What about square of minus 4? Correct, 16. And what about square of minus 16? Correct, 2 plus 256. So we are dealing with all the positive numbers when you are talking about squares of real numbers, right? In other words, I can say that all the positive numbers have their square roots which are real numbers. Now what about square roots of negative number? Is it possible? Well, complex numbers make it possible. Basically what we do is we define a number which can be written in the form a plus ib where a and b are real numbers and i is square root of minus 1. So we define i to be square root of minus 1. So a plus ib is the form in which a complex number is written algebraically. Now if I denote this a plus ib complex number as z, then a and b are called real and imaginary parts of the complex number of course. Or in other words, I can write real part of z is a, imaginary part of z is b. Now, if the imaginary part of a complex number is 0, that means when I say the number a plus i b and if b is 0, then you get only a which is a real number itself. So it's a pure real number if its imaginary part is 0. And if its real part is 0, that means in a plus i b, if a is 0 and b is non-zero, what remains is simply i b. That means it's a pure imaginary number. So for example, 4 is a pure real number and 7i is a pure imaginary number. Now if you add two complex numbers, that means you have one complex number as a plus ib and say another complex number x plus iy. You have to add the real parts and the imaginary parts. So the resultant complex number is going to be a plus x plus i into bracket b plus y. So when you add two complex numbers, you again get another complex number. Similarly, when you subtract two complex numbers, you are again going to get another complex number. 